Hi, my name is Stephen Woodard. Uh, I currently live in Lazella, Georgia, but I'm originally from Eastman, Georgia. I lived there up to about five years ago, which time I moved a little bit trying to get out of my comfort zone. I eventually settled here in Lazella, Georgia. Uh, most of my family still lives there. My dad, my stepmother, uh, two stepsisters and a stepbrother. I have one biological brother who lives in Texas since he retired from the Marine Corps. Unfortunately, my mother passed in 2018, so she's no longer around. Um, I have many cousins, uncles, and all that still live in the Eastman area. I graduated from high school in 2003, and I jumped from program to program, job to job for a little while, trying to decide what I wanted to do. I eventually uh, settled on EMT. I had a friend or two that did it, and you know, they seemed to enjoy it. I received my advanced EMT from Oconee Fall Line Technical College back in 2013. I then started pre-nursing at Georgia Military College because I, at the time I wanted to be a nurse. Decided that was not for me, uh, so I've continued on from there. I've had, like I said, many jobs over the years. I've been a Walmart cashier. I've read electrical meters for Georgia Power. I've installed satellite systems. Uh, my longest stint was as an EMT for Navis and uh, EMS in Macon, Georgia. I was also a correction officer for six and a half years altogether between two different facilities. At this time, I'm going for my orthopedic technology uh, associate's degree. Um, I hope to one day be uh, an orthopedic uh, physician's assistant. Uh, so I figured this was a good foundation for me to start with, a good way for me to learn more about what I need to know to do that. I'm currently uh, working towards that. I will uh, hopefully when I'm done be able to continue on to a bachelor's degree, which is what I need to um, attend the physician's assistant's uh, program. I currently work for Grady EMS in Union City, uh, South Fulton County. Uh, I've been there now for about a year. It's a good job. It's, it's challenging. Um, I was used to certain medical protocols here in Macon. Uh, they do things a little bit different with Grady, which every EMS does things a little different. The foundation is the same, but you know some things are just done a little different. You know, they use different procedures than we do sometimes. They use different medications that we don't, you know, we didn't care here in Macon. So it's been challenging, which I do enjoy because, you know, I do tend to get a little bored in jobs. Um, the only thing I don't like about my job at present is the fact that I drive one hour and a half in one direction. And that's if traffic's good. And if anybody from around here knows anything about I-75 North, traffic is very rarely good. Um, so that's an hour and a half on a good at a good time. Usually it takes me around two hours in one direction. So that's you know four, three to four hours of my day just driving to and from work. Um, it's still a great job. It's it's well worth it, worth the commute. Um, but it is you know something that I really do not like. Um, after graduation, like I said, I want to continue towards my bachelor's degree. I hope to achieve that within the next few years and then within five years I hope to be in a physician's assistant program hopefully on my way to graduating. Um, that way I can you know do what I've been wanting to do for some time now. Um, it's just a matter of you know keeping myself motivated. Luckily for me as of August 11th I have become engaged to a wonderful woman. Um, we are planning a wedding for whenever this COVID-19 mess is over with and she keeps me going pretty good on going to school and you know just overall being motivated to do things well i hope that everyone here uh, in this class is able to you know finish it and continue on with what they want to do and i wish everyone here the best of luck thank you